setting wedge blocks and limit nuts on cast iron sluice gates. First, close the gate by snugging it down with the hand crank. Verify the top seal is correct by checking it with a 4 thousandths feeler gauge. The feeler gauge should not be able to pass through the gap. Next, thread your limit nut down until it stops inside the lift. Then, crank the gate back up, making sure the limit nut stays in place. Then secure it by tightening the set screws. Next, work with the wedges. Loosen up the wedge bolts, push the wedge blocks up out of the way, and snug it in place with the wrench. Crank the gate down and make sure the seats are flush across the bottom of the gate and the top. Loosen the bottom wedge block screws and tap the wedge blocks into place with a hammer. Check the top seal again with the 4 thousandths feeler gauge. And then check the wedges to make sure that they're seated against the wedge caps. Once the wedge blocks are lined up and properly seated against the cap, tighten up the adjusting screw and the bolt that holds the wedge block on the front of the cover. Now go around and make sure all your bolts and nuts are tight. Make sure that everything moves freely and seats properly. For more information on installing Waterman gates, refer to our installation manual and the other videos on our website.